In this video, we'll be using the AdventureWorks database for SQL Server to make a scalar function. Use. There's a table that exists in here called human resources.departments. Let's take a look at that. And notice that it returns me a list of department names and kind of like what group they belong to. I want to know for uniqueness, does the name already exist? So we're going to create a scalar function to see if that using a bit exists or does not exist. So what we want to do is first create a function and that function has got a very basic structure. It's create the word function and then some name. Now this name doesn't have to be anything like I'm typing or something that comes with SQL Server. It's what you want it to be. I just call it SVF, scalar value function, and then some name. And then this next section is for our input parameters. After you get done with your input parameters, you have to type in returns. Don't forget the S. Bit is our return data type, then as. Here's my history area, which is optional, and you'll see me drop something in that in a moment, and then begin and end. Okay, team, this right here is the basic structure for creating a scalar function. If you wanted to create your own, the only thing you have to do is replace this and this, whatever you want to call it and whatever you want to return. Remember, scalar functions return one row, one column. Okay. So since I wanted to go query the name column, I would probably want to have one input parameter and let's call that department name. And notice that my data type is an N var char 50. Here I'm going to call it department underscore name N var char 50. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to write the function that goes and does that test. Well, I'm going to reuse this because that's what the table we're going to go up against. Let's use uh, an alias human resource department where human resource department dot name equals what was the name of my parameter at department. Now I can't say select star. I have to only use one column. So we're going to say first I have to declare it. I'm going to say declare at RV bid and I'm going to initialize that with false. And then here you say at RV equals true. And this is our statement. And when we get out of here, we have to return. So we say return at RV. Okay, team, this is it. This is all that's required. So we have input parameter, it returns a bit. Here, I'm gonna initialize. If the department exists, I'm gonna return true, or it's gonna be false, and this is it. So let's create that function. Hit execute. And then to see that, what we do is we come down here in programmability, function, scalar, Notice that function does not exist. I say refresh. And now there's our SVF does department exist. Now let's do a simple test to see if that function even works. So we're going to say declare at RV bit. Then we're going to say set at RV equals, okay, who is my schema owner? Is DBO. DBO dot, what's the name of my function? SVF. And then, can you remember that there was one called sales? And then we're going to say print RV. And notice that sales exist. One is true. If I come up here and take the S off, that does not exist. It should be zero. And there you go. We have now written a scalar function in SQL Server that takes one parameter it returns a bit. Okay team, we'll see you back in the next video. And there you have it, SQL Server Scalar Function. 
If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. Thumbs up if you think it needs it. And would you please consider subscribing to show your support. See you back in the next video.